we want to graph this quadratic equation, find the vertex and any intercepts. So let's begin. Let's find the vertex of the parabola. Notice here A is 1, B is negative 7, and C is 10. And we can use that formula that the x value of the vertex of the parabola is negative B over 2A, which in this case is negative a negative 7 over 2 times a is 1. So what is that? That's 7 halves or 3 and 1 half. So the x value of the vertex is 3 and 1 half or 3.5. I'll let you go through. Let x be 3.5 or 3 and a half here and here and solve for y. If you do so, you'll get negative 2 and a 4, so I'll put negative 2 and 25 hundredths. That is the vertex of our parabola. We'll plot that in just a moment. How do we find x-intercepts? We find x-intercepts by letting y be 0. So if we let y be 0, we would then solve this, and it'll solve by factoring or by the quadratic formula. This will be x minus 5 and x minus 2. Notice that is solved correctly. If you let each one of these factors equal to 0, you'll have that x is 5 and x is 2. So I have two x-intercepts. One is 5, between 4 and 6, and the other x-intercept is 2. How do you find y-intercepts? You find y-intercepts by letting x be 0. So if I go through and I let x be 0, Let's see what we'd get. I'd have y is equal to, this would be 0, this would be 0, and y would be 10. So our y-intercept is 10. Let's plot all of this along with our vertex, and that should be enough to graph our parabola. All right, let's graph the vertex. That would be 3 and a half over. Here's 2, here's 3, and a little bit more over, and then 2 down and a little bit more, negative two and a quarter. So right here, and you can see the parabola taking shape. Remember the parabola, it's symmetric, so whatever it looks like on the left of the vertex, it will look the same on the right. And there's the graph of my parabola.